What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 139 of the Games and Graphs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Hello. And it's past haircut time. We've got haircuts. Well, two of us have. Finn Ooh. still has um, no haircut, but it's okay. But Finn's this time, haircut this, this, is coming. By next, by next podcast, I'll have a haircut. A it's a thing, cut, sort of. It looks good. Mm. It, it does still look good. It look at your moustache, though. Oh, yeah, I've got a bit of beard going on. I tried to trim my beard. I kind of messed it up, so I thought I'd try doing a bit of a half a goatee kind of thing. It looks really good. You look like... Um, Thank you. Try, you look like a 1920s scientist. You know, like... Um, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like Einstein. You know, like, yeah, that, 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 mm. that sort of era of scientist. That's what you look like. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate but it. I like it. I think it looks really good. <laughs> I have something to get some grey in my hair as well because like white streak going on. So oh, there. shit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I started to notice a bit of grey because of how long it had gotten due to, uh, you know, no haircut 2021. <laughs> yeah. Was, um, yeah, I started to notice a... A little bit of hint of grey at the temples, you know. So <laughs> it's just yeah, a sign of getting we're, getting wiser. That's all it is. Yeah, and, uh, we're yeah. getting old. This is one of we are, things. but I also feel like we're getting sexier. Also, true. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. This I mean, Finn's sexy podcast. peak sexy right now. I mean, <laughs> Finn is the sexiest he's probably ever been. I know true. I've known you for what ten years now, Finn. Probably long, long, what, longer than that. Probably. Yeah, probably long time. It's like yeah, a young Drew McIntyre. Look at him. He is. <laughs> he's uh, he's in peak physical condition. He's you know, beard is impeccable, looking like a scientist mm. from the early twenties. To me, miss the up, up. Yes. Yeah, it's, yes, exactly. That's exactly what you should do. That would be awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, so like some vo- stash, some stash wax. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Place. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously, if you're not watching the video version, this means nothing to you. But um, <laughs> I implore you to go and check out the video version just to see it. Yeah, do yeah. it. Do it. <laughs> Finn's the Vaud villains before the Vaud villains. Really bad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Carl doesn't come punch me in the face. I'm good. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah. yeah don't, don't just don't that. talk shit about him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we love Sinkai. We're the best. Yeah, that's true. We should yeah. we should reach out to him, see if he'll come on the show. Because <laughs> yeah. he's a free agent, he can do imagine? whatever he wants. Could you imagine? It'd be best. I, honestly, uh, it would be amazing. We'd have to learn like Spanish or whatever. But <laughs> sorry, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I'll just put the I'll I'll get the the um, super lucha mask out and <laughs> speak broken Spanish to him <laughs> and see if that works. <laughs> get a good Google Translate out, it'd be fine. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. We could do that. Yeah, that'd be yeah, awesome. Actually, you'd yeah. do that. We know that that is Google, Google Translate is successful. We've mentioned it on a yeah. previous podcast, haven't we? With a with a oh, friend yeah. of ours. Yeah, yeah. It was very lucky. <laughs> yeah, very. I mean, it worked. You know, it's it good times. It worked for him for sure. So happy days. Um, <laughs> happy days indeed. Um, yeah. I've had to have a I've had to have a coffee. I fell asleep on the sofa a couple of hours ago. Yeah. Uh, I've, had, I've had to have an evening brown. Evening mm. brown, brown. Uh, brown. My, yeah, and I've got like a I've got my uh, Mandalorian strong. mug. But yeah, I, to, I felt like I had to have an evening brown. I haven't had one all day. Wow! So I got up. Probably yeah, I know. Is. Yeah, probably. yeah, possibly. But mm. like, I got up this morning, and we pretty much like went straight out. Like, did a few bits, and we came back. Had, like some lunch in the garden or whatever. But I sat there. And I was like, oh, I haven't had a I haven't had a cup of brown at all today. That's not good. It's a rookie. So I know. I'm not. To be honest, I'm not sure how I've gotten to this point. I haven't even had a sip of this one. I feel like when I take a sip of this one, it's going to be like when Popeye has spinach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your eyes, your arms, yeah. eyes will turn yeah. into sauces and just like. Yeah. It look like you know that episode of The Simpsons where um, everyone thinks they're seeing aliens, but they're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like with the X Files yeah. on that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Right. Um, so before we start, just like to thank everybody who joined us uh, during No Sleep Week 2021. Yes, yeah. indeed. Uh, we had a, a real blast doing the uh, the pre-shows for NXT and WrestleMania, and also we have obviously had the Eliminator special. Yeah. Um, that's the most content with the we've put out in one week, probably ever. Uh, but we had mm. a really great time doing it. Um, yeah. We had a real fun interacting with everybody and we hope you guys enjoyed it as well uh we really do appreciate you uh 
spending your evenings with us and taking the time out of your lives to listen to us talk about wrestling and give pretty bad predictions. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, very bad predictions. Yeah, but uh, we had fun and we're back with a, a fresh new episode of the podcast, just like we said we would be. We hope you like our new theme song. Oh, yes. Our new, our new entrance music. We hope you <laughs> mm. enjoyed that. Uh, copyright free because it belongs to us. Yeah. Well, you two. Yeah. It doesn't belong to me. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> it, belongs it belongs to us now and it's part of the podcast. So, yeah. 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 It's part of the go. podcast. It's, 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 <laughs> it's gone from being played in front of 25 people in a pub to now being listened to everybody in the world ever. Worldwide. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, so man. just before you move on, just obviously a uh, big thanks to Josh as well for joining us. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, on, yeah. Uh, for the pre-show on night one as well. I thought he was a, a stellar guest. He yes, does. He you. brought a level of intelligence and <laughs> normality to yeah. that missing, this podcast yeah. does not have. Yeah. 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 It was sound. He, he is the missing link. Like mm. he, we're we're like the three, you know, like that the chart with the people yeah. walking and gradually <laughs> yeah. they become man. We're at the very start of that, yeah. and then Josh is the when it becomes man at the at the front. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, definitely. <laughs> oh man, right. Uh, so, podcast, 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 podcast. Finn, hello. What have you been playing this week? What well, indeed? Well, I finished the Outer Worlds DLCs. Both of them, both of which are nice. very good. Enjoy them a lot. Um, got most of the trophies in them. Didn't did a couple of like bit of a faff to get, so I didn't bother. Um, but yeah, really enjoyable. Out of worlds, excellent game. Um, so much attention to detail in all the characters and dialogue and things. Awesome. Um, so that's been really good. Play a bit more Forza on the PC every now and then. Just hop on. Still going with that? Yeah, yeah. Just hop it every now and then. We've got like a spare hour or two, or mm. hour and a half an hour. Um, that's really good. Um, what else? What else indeed? Oh, I finished the story in Ring Pit because <laughs> it's got oh, a bit of a story. Wow. Yeah, got through that. I'm playing through it again on like New Game Plus. Um, right. Let me ask you about this, right? Because sure. you've put uh, obviously it tells you how many hours you've put into something um, when you've when you click on someone's profile. Now, obviously, you've put an obscene amount of hours into mm-hmm. Ring Fit. So, obviously, you've not just been playing the story. I assume. Um, yeah, the story's quite long. It goes on for a good long while. It's mostly the yeah, same thing again and again. Um, you put over 105 hours in. Yeah. Long story. <laughs> that long? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Now, where are your books well now? <laughs> but it's, it is a very basic story. Um, it's just basically, you know, a thing, a tool to get you to use the exercises, obviously. Um, well, yeah. But you can't it's exactly good. expect uncharted levels of... <laughs> storytelling <laughs> when you know you literally gotta run squat and like press things in pretty much <laughs> but that's a that's a that is a hefty story mode so hefty he's gone he's speechless yeah he's <laughs> totally speechless he's frozen and uh it's <laughs> all we can see now is a still of finn he's like Worked out so hard that his muscles have gone into a spasm and he's just stuck. Just cast in stone. It's like he's 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 chiseled. That's it. That's exactly what it is. He's Michelangelo's Finn (laughs) Steel. All the times my internet's cut out randomly. Oh, he's back. Final day. As soon as I start the podcast, I'm gone. He's back. We we filled the gaps though, Finn, and it was all good. Cool. Cool. Um, I don't know if you heard what we were saying about you or not. It's cutting cutting every, every now and then. But yeah. I hope that when you listen to it back, it makes you it makes you smile. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Um, <laughs> but yeah, my only complaint with the story on Wing Fit is that the enemies, like the combat itself, is way too easy. Because like I take at this point, I take almost no damage. I got like twenty or so hearts, and I, I get attacked and I take no damage. I'm just like what? Yeah, the but point. <laughs> when you're when you're the when the you, alpha you, you, male Finn exactly. Steel. True. True. Mere yeah. mortals like me and Sonny, we would find this combat hard. Yeah. <laughs> no. But, you know, when you're in the invincible Finn Steel, there's many, you that, know, adjectives that. that could be used before your first name, but, <laughs> you know, Finn hard as steel, perhaps we could, we could maybe hey, go with that. Again. I love it. I love it. It writes itself. <laughs> hard as steel. Yeah. yeah. My middle name, hard as. 
That's your porn star <laughs> name, isn't it? <laughs> Heart of Steel, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, have you seen the new Heart of Steel video? <laughs> Heart of Steel 3? Yeah, so he was a... Harder. He, he, harder. He, was an, he was an electrician in this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the main thought now but yeah it's a good game too easy the exercises are hard the game itself is too easy um, but fun I enjoyed it good um, what else I don't remember I think that's about it we jumped back on Mario Maker 2 for a bit a bit more oh, work, okay. levels than that I want to get I want to do more videos than that maybe not stream it but I want to do more like, some video, like YouTube videos or something you may as well ideas. now, because uh, now our YouTube channel is picking up steam a little bit. Yeah, I have ideas <laughs> for things I want to do. Um, oh, yes. That's Sorry, uh, just uh, just a disclaimer: the hardest steel videos can't be found on YouTube. Oh uh, yeah, on a different website. We had to take those off. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's that. Mm-hmm. And oh, I played a bit more Fall Guys as well. Back on that for a bit. Oh, new okay. Season four started. How was it? Uh, yeah, really fun. In fact being addicted to it haven't played it in a little while um yeah still really still really fun Excellent. Uh, yeah that's that i bought, bought a bunch of i went, jumped onto the north american psn store and bought a bunch of uh ps1 classics from on ps3 oh okay they're, they're gonna be disappearing soon um oh, of course lot, yeah yeah there's a lot of um like really hard to get games on there which would be like super expensive to like import or buy mm-hmm. um so i bought uh persona 2 um, Mega Man Legends 1 and 2, um, uh, Chrono Trigger, uh, <laughs> what else? Wild Arms 1 and 2, uh, Parasite Eve 1. And... Is that on there, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's loads on there. Uh, Klonoa. Wow. And I think that's about it. Xeno, Xeno Saga, yeah. There's a mm. bunch of really, really good games, uh, otherwise, really hard to get. Uh, if I was to uh, buy all that from eBay, it would probably cost me near to a like, thousand pounds. From my wow. Point. Yeah. I was giving myself a bit of money there. And I've also bought, it got me into that retro gaming mood. So I also went on eBay and bought a few. I got uh, Solid Hill, uh, Parasite Eve 2, um, Dino Crisis 2. Nice. And the other one, I don't know which one was it. Parasite Eve, um, Solid Hill, and the rest, yeah. That's about it. Oh, and Final Fantasy Origins, that was it. Nice. Final Fantasy 1 and 2 in the collection. So have you been, have yeah. you been playing these retro games or have you just sort of bought them to look at? Uh, I won't be playing them. That's another thing I want to do. If I do want to, when I do start streaming again, I want to stream some like older games, like PS One games. Oh yeah, that'd Just be really good. Yeah. yeah, So I had a quick go on uh, the Darling Hill, wandered around a bit. But yeah, this would be good. It's so good Tank- though, right? Still. Yeah, really good. Tank controls get a bit of getting used to. <laughs> again. They do, school. but um, I started playing. So I hadn't, I hadn't played it before. At least, well, I had, but I couldn't. I had no real recollection of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I um. Put it on my PlayStation Classic legally, obviously. Of course, legally, yeah, perfectly legally. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, and <laughs> yeah, I, I really like it. I think it's great. I, I intend yeah. to go back and finish it. I just um, because we've had a move around in the living room, I've not got my classic consoles plugged in at the minute. But I do okay. intend to go back and do it because I really like it. I think it's great. Yeah, same. I maybe don't want to buy that like physically because I've got two, three, and four on PS4 and mm. PS2. I want the didn't want to have it the first one, so I wanted to have those four in my collection. Um, yeah, they're good ones. Good ones to have. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Got through it. Um, but yeah, lots of good gaming going on at the minute. How about you, Steve? I've almost exclusively just been playing Animal Crossing. Um, nice. Time has been uh, very limited over the last week or so because wrestling and mm, family yep. life and stuff. And Animal Crossing has just been the easiest game for me to pick up and play and I've ended up losing hours and hours and hours to it. Um, yeah, those three hours, they're gone. Those three mm-hmm. hours, they are completely gone. Um, yep. Even like lunch, lunchtime, you know, <laughs> at work and stuff, just quick half hour, you know, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I've managed to get my island up to three stars, which is good. So I've had the credits roll and... Uh, that uh, is it kk star he's come and uh he's paid a couple of gigs you know at the uh <laughs> on the island. Lady, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah 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 i mean his music's terrible but you know um yeah, i'm yeah, not sure so, why he's so popular i don't i can't i don't really get yeah, it myself. I, I, don't, I don't, don't need to hear so you say that his, 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 his music's trash but um <laughs> 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 no it's it's um and, and now 
and now that you've obviously I've got the three stars, it's opened up the construction app, and I can really start. You can really sort of uh, make your island take take shape and do various mm-hmm. different things. And uh, I've I've very sad. I've ended up down a few sort of YouTube uh, rabbit holes looking at different people's islands, and well, mm-hmm. that's a good idea, and that's a good idea. And oh, I like mm-hmm. that. So yeah, great game. But, Love it. Because you can dream as well, can't you? And you can go to um, other islands you for can inspiration go to other islands, and stuff yeah. as well, which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. So that is pretty much it. I dipped onto FIFA uh, last Sunday for a couple of hours, uh, lost my head with it. So uh, turn that off. Mm. Fair. Fair enough. But that is about it for me. Uh, but I'll say it is a lot of hours that I've put into Animal Crossing. Uh, and I love it. It's great. So what about yourself, Sonny? What have you been playing? Um, you know, considering I've had a week off, I've not really played all that much. Mm. Um, I've sort of dipped in where I can again because wrestling and doing stuff like this. Um, but I've been playing Animal Crossing as well. Uh, been grafting away on that. I had a couple of days off because it was pissing me off that my island wasn't at three stars. Um, but I've gone and planted a load of flowers and trees and junk. And hopefully, you know, next time I log on tomorrow, most likely, um, it'll be three stars and. I can just buy some turnips to celebrate or some shit. Mm. Um, I've got that wrestling figure for you. I need to. I need to I've got some. one now. Oh, you got one? Yeah, That's I've got. Cool. It was in my shop. It just appeared. Oh, all right, cool. I got. Uh, tell you what, I have got. I'll send you one. I've got a. I've got a really cool arcade machine. Ah, nice. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I've got uh, an arcade machine, a pool table, and a table tennis table. It's nice. It, so my I- arcade area of the island looks sick. Nice. Mm. Sounds and good. we need to get a life. Um, we do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a life, but you're not thing. That is a life now. That's yeah. true, actually, yeah. To be fair, it's been my life for the better part of a year now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had a few months off it, though, to be fair, but then got back into it majorly when Kaylee started getting back into it, and she's just fucking nailed it. <laughs> she's <laughs> totally she's nailed it. it. Yeah, Finn, so if, you, if you go on to Animal Crossing, um, like when we're all online... Like, Take a trip to Kay's Island and yeah, be amazed by it. It's just <laughs> incredible. Awesome. <laughs> nice. That's yeah, really good. good. Um, I had to restart um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild because my save had vanished. Oh, wait. However, uh, I have been playing it and I've just, I've just beaten um, the Divine Beast at like the Zora's place. So it's the oh, big yeah. elephant one. Cool. Um, and to be honest, I cannot believe I've played that much that quick because <laughs> um, time just flew yeah, when I was playing it. it. Um, so I've just beaten that one. That was really cool. And yeah, I'm now sort of going to go and move on to the other Divine Beasts. But it's it's just so good. It's so it's like peaceful and stressful all at the same time <laughs> because the 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 weapon sort of like. The amount of hits you get out of a weapon is piss poor. <laughs> so you're having to cultivate new weapons all the time. And um, that's the only annoying thing about it. I think the rest of it is just, it's mind-blowingly beautiful and easily still one of the best games ever made, even though it's been out like four years now. Um, you know, and other great games have been, and that is still one of the very best games that you can buy using human money. <laughs> Human money, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's incredible, yeah. It's really good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crack on with that. Uh, I don't know how long it is, but given how quick time goes when you play it, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, it's so, one of the games that can be as long as it wants to be. Like you could probably just play it forever if you wanted to. Yeah, if you want to streamline it, go straight for the story. Probably take like yeah twenty hours. How many? But uh, ten, like 10, 20 hours if you like nail it completely. You no, know, go straight for the goal. Well, if you mainline the story, you think you could do that? I think so. The thing is, I want to be as powerful as powerful as I can possibly be. Um, when I mean, you know, the, the game obviously allows you certain, you know, concessions when you get some things like uh, when you have to get the shock arrows and you there's that big like dude there. You don't have to fight him, but you yeah. can if you want to. Otherwise, you could just stealth your way around him, get your twenty arrows, and piss off to the next area, which is <laughs> what I did after dying ten times trying to kill him. So, Ooh. um. <laughs> But um, it's just so good. I'm uh, I'm really glad that I f- finally started playing it again. Um, annoying because I'd gone way past where I am now on my previous save. Yeah. But I'm back now, and I'm gonna gonna get it finished and 
yeah, it's just it's just so good, so awesome. so good. Good stuff. But that, to be honest, I haven't been playing a, a great. Uh, you know, the the time I have been playing, I've been sort of on, I've been on Animal Crossing or that. So I've not really been playing a great deal else this week. Um, I've got games that I want to play, but I can't stop playing on my Switch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same. You're and I, I, I like you, Finn, have had um, a real sort of um, hankering to play older games. So I've been meaning to, I, I want to get my PlayStation Classic out again because I want to finish off Metal Gear Solid because I'd started a playthrough nice. on that. Yeah. And I want to go back to uh, Silent Hill as well. Um, yeah. So I want to, I want to go back and do that. It's, it's all right, sort of having, you know, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X or whatever. But sometimes, you know, other uh, older games just take just just really draw you in you know what i mean yeah i've been really, for some reason i really wanted to play like silent hill mm. um for a while now so i really want to play some silent hill games so now you know i mean I'm, I'm gonna do it and i want to stream it i want to start streaming again i want to play some older games i thought hey why not both both at the same time you know pick my one yeah it. yeah absolutely i think they would and uh um youtube.com forward slash games graps mm, absolutely yeah Cheap plug, <laughs> cheap, cheap. But yeah, that's what uh, that's what I've been playing. I picked up a couple of games today actually on Switch in the Switch sale. I bought Hotline Miami one and two. Oh nice! Um, I got them Good for games. five pound for the collection. Awesome, Bargain. which is a great price. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I also bought uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's a boxing game. It's like a, an arcadey type boxing game. Um, it was one pound twenty five, and yeah. you, you know. <laughs> it's one pound twenty five. Yeah. Even if it was crap yeah. and I deleted it straight away, then <laughs> it's still only one pound twenty five. But it isn't crap and it is fun. Uh, so cool. it's worth the one pound twenty five. Nice. You mm-hmm. do get some is little that... hidden nuggets in the in the Nintendo Switch sales every now and then. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's a lot of hidden hidden gems in there. Heaps amongst... of shit. But... <laughs> yeah, in amongst the garbage, there's a, a few gems. <laughs> yeah, a few gems. You have to really go scrolling through to find the the the, the gems. But yeah, heaps of shit. <laughs> <laughs> heaps, heaps, heaps of shit. But there is some good stuff in there. I can, you know, there really is. <laughs> there's your sound bite, Finn, for the uh... heaps. yeah, heaps of shit. <laughs> Oh man, I love it. <laughs> Finn Steele, you said um, that there was tons of gaming news this week, and I'm taking your word for it because amongst yeah. playing Zelda, Animal Crossing, and watching The Crown, um, the Crown. yeah, I <laughs> do. I'm obsessed with it at the minute. Like That's we've right. blitzed through series one and two. Told we're you gonna, it's good. Yeah, we're gonna go through. Uh, we're gonna start series three in a little while. I didn't think I'd be into it at all. Like period no. dramas, not my thing, not at all. Mm. I thought this is gonna be boring as shit. We're gonna watch one episode it's and then really we're gonna good. fuck it off because. It's going to be boring as shit, but oh, it's not. It gets it better not. as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. It's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like the Doctor Who's in it, that he plays Prince Philip. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> Rest in peace, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which Doctor Who? That's a good point, actually. Matt Smith. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, he, yeah. He plays. He, he, he plays, plays uh, Prince Philip, doesn't he? He does, yeah. Um, but it's just so good. It's not boring at all. They've done it in a way where it's informative and entertaining, which is, which is great because I'm learning loads. I'm mm. learning. I am. I I'm learning. You, you get a uh, you get a bit of a a new fan. I don't know about respect, but you get a well, yeah, a new fan. Oh, I agree. Respect as well for actually what the royal family do. People have their critics about the royal family. Oh, I'm not a royalist and all of that sort no, of thing, not, and but... blah blah blah. I'm not going to get into that, but you know, you do get a, a new found sort of, oh, okay, I didn't realise that that's what she does on a day-to-day basis and how important her role is in this country. Yeah. So, yeah. Or, um, or, you know, the Commonwealth. So, yeah. Definitely have got a newfound appreciation for uh, the royal family and the, yeah. just exactly, you know, how much the Queen does. Um, yeah. And it's, it's, it's very, very interesting. Finn, I know you're not going to watch it, but it's <laughs> uh, for those out there that do enjoy... You know, watching TV, um, The Crown is really good. Definitely, so definitely watch it. It's a recommendation from uh, two podcasting people. Netflix wouldn't give it four series and another two in in works as well if it wasn't good. Two I more guess. in the works. Yeah, wow. yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, Excellent. Awesome. Yeah, so we're about to, we're going to start season <clears throat> three probably later on tonight because we've napped this afternoon. We'll probably end up going about about five a.m. That's how it works. <laughs> cool. Yeah, uh, having a week off fucks you up, man. It really does. It like just throws off everything. Like yep. you sleep in pattern. Wrestling messes it up anyway. <laughs> but then having a week off, it just it. Oh man, it just, it just it messes you messes you up. Yeah. Finn, gaming news. Hello. Uh, yes, gaming news indeed. Uh, we talked about it briefly earlier, but Sony have announced they'll be shutting down uh, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita stores on Ooh. July 1st, which wow. is, yeah, it sucks, because that means a lot of games are going to disappear into the ether, never to be played again. Or yep. again, at least. Um, so yeah, <laughs> any games you want on PS3 and Vita, buy them now, because you might be up to for much longer. Yeah. That's um, it's, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crap decision, but, you know, I guess it's one they... Do they have to make it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know the real the ins and outs of it and why they're doing it. Um, yeah. They hate the Vita. It's obvious. <laughs> yeah. Um, they are going to be able to download games already bought, which is not completely going away. Yeah. Which is but good. if you don't have them, you can't have them. <laughs> exactly. You can't buy them. Um, so it's that. No, the word games, like indie developers are still making games on Vita. They've now had yeah. to like, either cancel them or like oh. try and get them out quick before the door closes, which is, a, which is weird. A weird one. It's a real shame. It, yeah. it really is a shame. I mean, yeah, okay, fair enough. The PS3's have been out a while. The, it's probably a case of the amount of people buying games on the digital store has dropped significantly, yeah. um, especially, you know, since you've had the PS4 and the PS5 come out since, and obviously they stopped making PlayStation Vitas a while ago. Um, so I guess that's where the decision stems from. But it's still a shame because, you know, people still do enjoy I've, I've still got a PS3. Um, yeah. Not that I go online to shop for games or anything, but, <laughs> um, you know, people still do play the Vita. People are actually still just getting into the Vita, Yeah. you know, because handheld gaming is still mega popular and a lot of people mm. did sort of bypass the Vita when it first when it first came out and they're getting into it now that it's a little bit cheaper to pick one up and the games are cheap and um, it's still a great console. If you didn't get one... Um, you know, you, you, you really, you've missed out a little bit because there are some really good games on there. Plus, you know, you can play PS1 classics, handheld. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, awesome. um, this, uh, it's, it's a really great console that Sony did not give um, enough time of day to. And that's yes. a real shame. And if you want to check it out, do it quick. Because the latest Nvidia games are going to become really expensive on eBay <laughs> yeah. very soon. Oh, yeah, they are. Trust me, it's the main reason I bought like the PS1 lattice because now there's no chance I'm going to be able to afford them because <laughs> they're going to go up and up and up and up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, get them quick. Yeah, for sure. Definitely do. Cool. Uh, Sony have also announced, for some reason, they are making a Last of Us 1 remake, which is weird because yeah. they've already got one. <laughs> kind of. We've got the remaster. Which like... still looks great, by the way. It's yeah. not like it's a piece of shit. <laughs> exactly. Still, and play is pretty much the same as two. So it's like, what are they going to change about it? <laughs> yeah, what, what? I don't understand. What are they? What are they actually going to do? Yeah, are they going to redo the voice acting and everything, or are they just going to? Are they going to keep Maybe. all the voice acting and just do the graphics the same way that they did the Last of Us Part Two? It yeah. doesn't make sense. It doesn't because the voice acting and I, yeah, like the mocap and everything looks great, and it's still great. Yeah, and it's the same voice actors that did it, you know, in two. So. Why? <laughs> Why are we doing this? You could, you mm. know, you could spend more time making newer games, and then to go back and make a game you already made twice. <laughs> yeah, it does. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, no, I know bizarre. that there there are people that you know want it, and I'd be, well, I'd be happy for it, but we just don't need it. And it seems like a massive waste of resources to me when you could be making when you could be making newer new games or sequels to games that deserve sequels. Yeah, Days Gone. We're looking at you because the Days Gone, you know, people wanted a Days Gone too, and it's a really good game and probably does deserve a follow-up story or at least a story set in that same universe. Mm. But now it looks like we're not going to get it, and they're working on the Last of Us remake instead. Yeah. So and that, that's a lot of the sentiment we see online. It's like a lot of people send the same thing. Like we want, you know, we want we'd rather have a Days Gone, re uh, Days Gone Two than a Last of Us remake. Like it was a new game rather than a game you already played, like a bunch yeah. of times. It's it's just such a, a weird decision, and you know, obviously, it's not been confirmed officially. I don't believe, but you know, it's heavily rumored mm. by people that are very much in the know. So it looks like it's happening. 
which sucks. Yeah. But and also it that, is what it is. Yeah, there's also the movie as well that's coming out. Is it the same story from the first game? So got... uh, it's, it's a series, isn't it? It's a HBO oh, Max yeah, series. series. So, yeah, a HBO it's... series. But yeah, yeah, it's following the exact same story yeah. of the first game. Yeah, so you've got the original game, the remaster, the TV show, and now we make. <laughs> it's four different games with the same story. Yeah. The thing <laughs> is, the uh, Last of Us remastered has had a uh, a patch to make it run better on PS5 as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I don't oh, it it. So weird. So, so, so weird. Yes. Uh, speaking of servers shutting down, Ubisoft are, have announced they're shutting down a bunch of servers for some older games. Uh, some online servers. Uh, so here we've got Assassin's Creed 2, which apparently had an online mode. Who knew? Really? Apparently so. Um, okay. The Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands. Uh, Far Cry 2. Anno 140. I don't know what that is. Uh, Might and Magic Clash of Heroes. Uh, Splinter Cell Conviction. Rest in peace, Splinter Cell. Remember that series? Yeah, it was great. Back in the day. Really, <laughs> yeah. really good. Pick it back, please. Uh, Might, and Mag- Mag- Might and Magic X Legacy. Uh, Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Great game. That's a good game. Yeah, really good game. I uh, bought great- that recently, actually. Um, oh, yeah? It was, yeah, it was, like, it was like three quid or something on the Xbox store because you can play it backwards compatible on the Series X. Oh, yeah. Um, hope it's not really good. online. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, the job job's fucked, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, and, the, and the two I'm most sad about because I actually really enjoyed these back in the day is uh, Rainbow Six of Vegas 1 and 2. Yeah, Xbox I saw that. That's a so real on. shame because yeah. um, I assumed that people still play it. Yeah, me too. But uh, yeah, I played those games a lot on 360. Probably my favourite multiplayer games. games at the time, yeah. Mm. Yeah, really, really good yeah. games. So that's um, sad. Split this up, conviction. Which one's that? Is that the is that the the third one? Um, I don't remember. Let's have a look. No, so Splinter Cell, then Splinter Cell, Pandora tomorrow. Then I think it's Splinter Cell, Chaos Theory. Conviction is the one where he's obviously been to prison. That's the first one that was on the 360, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. With the awesome prison riot. That's a that's that's a great piece of gaming. Oh yeah, yeah, I organize that. Yeah, I think you're right. Still a good game. Don't worry about the bullshit online mode. You can still play the great story mode. So go and do that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because cool. I I played the original Splinter Cell not that long ago because it's had it had an Xbox ser- sorry, it had an Xbox One X um, enhancement patch. Oh wow. Nice. Um, and I've got a disc version of the game. Oh really? And it looks amazing. Oh, wow. Really cool. smooth. Awesome. It's amazing. They're still you know bashing these video games. If only Sony would pay attention, <laughs> do the same, and give us the games back. Yeah, uh, I mean, look. So I think uh, one, two, and Chaos Theory um, all had um, some sort of Xbox One X enhancement patch. So wow. this is like, and I think it has auto HDR on Series X as well. Really, Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sony, yeah, do, I know. Sony, do the same. Come on. I yeah, they do the same for because um, um, Indiana Jones, the Xbox game, was on mm-hmm. Games with Gold recently. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that had a that's got a an enhancement patch with auto HDR as well. Wow, <laughs> it looks that's... fucking mental. It's like yeah. wow, I forgot yeah. that game even existed, but yet here it is with a patch. Yeah, wow, oh, that's we want that with like Latic um, Sony games like Ratchet and Clank, the older ones, the PS2 ones. Give us that with HDR and stuff. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I mean it's it's with clear and, and obvious that it can be doable. Yeah, or well, it can be done. Mm. You know. Um. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's not Sony's prerogative to uh, rehash the old games, unless it's the, Ra- the Last of Us. Um, <laughs> but there, you know, just stuff like you, like that you mentioned before, Parasite Eve, and yeah. you know, things like that. You know, they don't need you know Silent Hill. Just give it a, a little bit of gloss. I mean, these yeah. old games—they've not changed in any way. They've just had a, a a lick of paint, and they've just chucked a patch out for it. Yeah. You can't be that hard. You wouldn't think but, so, hey. but hey, what the fuck do we know? <laughs> exactly, what do we know? <laughs> we know nothing. We know uh, uh, we've got a PS5 game being delayed. Um, Deathloop delayed from May 21st to September 21st. Yeah, this... Um, I do like the look of this game, but... Yeah, that's cool. I, I, I thought it was coming out like when the PS5 came out. I don't know if that was the original plan or not. Yeah, and then maybe. it was delayed once, and that's been delayed again. Um, hey, look. Again, it's that, that old thing, isn't it? If you're delaying it to make it better, so you're not bringing out a, 
a heap of shit, then <laughs> um, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then do a cyberpunk and bring it out way too soon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, was talking, I, was, I was talking to Gaming Mule about this yesterday, actually. Um, and even he gave up with it. He was so excited for it, and he was playing it on the PS5. And he was like, "I just, I just gave up with it in the end." Oh God. He's gonna, no, he's gonna, not. he's gonna, you know, try it again when the next gen version comes out, if it ever does. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. But yeah. um, I, I mean, I can't believe the direction that game went in, like straight down. Actually, it yeah. wasn't even a just, yeah. So much, it, so much, so much <coughs> going up and up and up, and then it came out. Yeah, down, I mean, I, no I played it. it and it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's a good game. It just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a good game that is a heap of shit. <laughs> heap for the most part. Heap. Heap. Yeah, that's a shame. Hopefully, yeah. they fix that soon. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> um. So we got a new Resident Evil Seven trailer and demo. It's out now. Eight, 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 eight. eight. Yeah, eight. And I keep saying seven. The very similar logo. Go play seven. It's good if you've not yeah, played seven, it. If you've great. not played it, what play the fuck well. are you doing? Go and play it. Yeah. Play it on it's on Game Pass as well. No excuse. If you've got an Xbox, obviously. Yeah. Good Steve, good. definitely add, add that to your list. It's awesome. It's so good. Holy shit, it's so good. So, so good. Added. Nice. Uh-huh. But yeah, new trailer, new demo. It's out now on PS5. Which I've got down there. I think it's on Xbox as well. Um, um, yes, maybe. Yes, yes, maybe. Um, yeah, it looks, well, it looks. I haven't actually seen the trailer. I'm trying to avoid any spoiler, spoilers mm-hmm. and things. Um, but yeah, I'm going to avoid the demo as well. Yeah, I might as well. But apparently, it's very, very good, and I'm excited for it. They've also showed off the mercenaries mode, and that's mm-hmm. coming back from classic games. That's awesome. Yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna. I, 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 I cannot wait for this. I love the. Uh, I love Resident Evil Seven so much. I, yeah, I played through so. it two or three times, and it's just amazing. Mm-hmm. I love I love that it changed Resident Evil and yeah, made it good. something I just just changed it completely. I mean took away that third person perspective which was, you know, always a mainstay in the Resident Evil games and then made it first person and just switched Resident Evil on its head and just made it amazing again because Resident Evil 6 blows fucking dicks. There's yep. no two <laughs> ways about it. It just does. And if yeah, you like right. it, you're wrong. <laughs> but um no. yeah it's 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 crap but uh resident <laughs> evil 7 is just fucking amazing so definitely um it, it, i've made myself want to play it again now but just by talking about it it's that good <laughs> and yes if you want to see someone speed run it go to day gym gaming and watch me do it it's about four and a half <laughs> hour it, long yeah is it not on um um games and graps as well that um i don't think so let's have a look um mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't remember. It's the Luke Resident Evil. Bear with me. Internet. Um, if it's not on there, oh, what we the... should do. Yeah, so yeah, if, if, if... Resident Evil 2 uh, speedrun's on there. Okay. Um, that's a speedrun, or is that just. I can't remember. But there's Resident Evil 2 stuff on there, at least. I think the um, 7 stuff's on Daydream and Gaming, as far as I can tell. If We should maybe download it and re upload it again. Yeah, that's a popular video to as well. And, to games and graps, yeah. Just because, yeah. you know, Resident Evil um, 8's on its way, and maybe that'll be uh, some cool content for people. Yeah, that'd be cool. Who are new to us and stuff like that. Because there is people that are new <clears> to <throat> us, so. Yeah, let's do that. Good idea. Good plan. Yeah. Um, but yes, play this game. It looks good. Um, also, speaking of Resident Evil, it's showing off Resident Evil 4 in a VR. Uh, and it's exclusive to the Oculus Quest 2, which is less exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's um hey, who doesn't want to hear the annoying Leon in um <laughs> you know in VR? Leon, help. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a real shame that they're not bringing that to um any other VR platform. Yeah, I'm hoping it will get announced eventually on PSVR 2. Uh, cuz that'd be awesome. But for now it's exclusive to Oculus Quest, which is owned by Facebook, which is uh, mm. great. <laughs> Uh, but it does look really cool. I wish I could play this right now, but can't do it. I'm not spending 300 quid in a headset. Sorry, Facebook. Yeah, fuck Facebook anyway. <laughs> yeah. Fuck um, There's also been a leak for a new Super Monkey Ball game. 
a series really? of potentially going back, yeah, called Banana Mania. Hopefully, cool. We'll get a new a Super Monkey Ball game, which would be awesome. I love those. Because there, there is one on there is one on Switch, isn't there? But I, I don't I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I think it was a remaster of the one on the Wii, but apparently it's not very good. Oh really? It yeah, it didn't review well for some reason, but yeah, mm. hopefully this one is a bit better. It's a brand new game. Just going back to Resident Evil real mm. quick. Uh, they showed the a new trailer for the Netflix series that's coming. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, cool. for the, the animated series Infinite Darkness it looks really good um, cool. it basically looks like the cutscenes from the game but better and in the series <laughs> in the so movie. it looks really good yeah so that's that comes out July on Netflix so definitely definitely gonna look, uh, check that out it's got Leon and Claire in it so Leon um, it, it's uh, Leon so it's uh, <laughs> characters that you'll recognise cool awesome and it's only reminded me of the uh, Nintendo Indie World Showcase that happened which I forgot was even the thing um, showed up a bunch of indie games some that have been out for a while some are new ones that are coming to the Switch uh, let's run through this quickly um, we've got Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals uh, we've got Fez which has been out forever um, Beasts of Maravilla Island Shrug. Uh, Ender Lilies the House of the Dead remake which is probably the best thing in there classic arcade game House of the Dead it looks cool as well because it, yeah. it looks like the um the uh the joy cons uh the uh, the gun yeah so um so like like the light gun as it would be and that it will work really well so i'm super excited for that that's gonna be great yeah be awesome i uh, got weaving tides and um, we've got uh, labyrinth mm. city pierre the maze detective I'm sure um art of rally skull the hero slayer aztec forgotten gods I'm not going to pronounce that one. Uh, Chris no, Daniels. No, no. Oh. So you, know you, to, you know what you need to do? You put it in the... the, the uh, our, good yeah. friends, our good <laughs> friends at uh, that search engine. Does it translate? Google. 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 Uh, Google. Let's, well, let's try this one. Um, oh, no, I've got to do the thing. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. <laughs> is, that, is that an indie game? Bear with me. Is I think there is a game called that, isn't there? Probably. Bear with you. What? Yeah. Lost the bloody page. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I want a bit cartridge then. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> uh? Stop getting Bond wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have legitimately lost the plot and what I've loved looking at. What a fin. Yeah. Keep. Uh. Heap yeah. of shit. No, here it is. Uh, <laughs> ah. I'll try my best. It's uh, Getsu Fuma Den and Dying Moon. There you go. There you go. That'll do. Perfect. <laughs> the bet you got. Perfect. Um, and the next exciting one uh, was the Perfect Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge arcade ish looking game. It looks Dude. so good. Yes. It's yeah. based on classic arcade I'll games. Over. I'll be all over that. Very yeah, cool. me too. Can't wait. Uh, it's a game called There Is No Game, Wrong Dimension. Okay. Uh, the Longing, Oli Oli World, to yeah. to the old uh, skateboarding games. It looks so, amazing as well. Can't wait. Very cool. Uh, got a game with Hindsight. Uh, last Stop, uh, Aerial Knights Never Yield, and Road 96. It's all games coming out soon for the Switch. There you go. Yeah. And that's about it, really. Anyone want to guess the best-selling games of March? Best-selling game of March. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh what's that? Is it something that's been out a while? Tony Hawk? Uh, Did no. Tony Hawk come out in March? Uh, no. The, the, the it, was the end, it was the end of March, wasn't it? Yeah, the update, yeah. Uh, no, it's not on there. It's, it's a game that's been out for a while. Call of GTA Duty. GTA 5. Uh, Call of Duty, yeah. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Number one, right? Uh, must, number, I think it's, it might. It must have been on sale or something. Probably. Uh, number two is Monster Hunter, which is nice. Like Excellent. Team. Yeah, really good game. Go play it if you've got a Switch. It's worth it. It's like I said. Like I said uh, this a couple of weeks ago on the podcast, but it's um, it's accessible for new players and old players alike. So Very cool. it, ca- it caters for everybody, which is is really really good. Awesome. Great game. Absolutely. Uh, also, Mario Kart Eight still in it, in it at number six. Still there. People still mine it. How? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Who doesn't have it now? <laughs> yep. Um, Even I've got it. 
even on uh, Animal there. Crossing number eight, so that's still there. And uh, and Minecraft is number ten. That's still there as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but how is Minecraft in there? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Mental. <laughs> Who even is GTA in there? Uh, GTA's not in the top ten, no. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Where? Yeah, it's eleven probably. It's ten point five. This uh <laughs> joint <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There you go. That's all the gaming news for this week. Awesome. awesome. Right. Finn, have you got the soundbite ready? I do indeed. Finn is three nil up and coasting against me, um, who is doing incredibly bad. This is the next round of the Eliminator. Yeah, got it. Oh yeah, nailed it. Yeah. Right then. Catch all of it. <clears throat> all right, send the lights on. Call Finn engaged. Oh, man, call Finn engaged. Oh right, my dogs. god. Ready to do this? Need to lose. Is it cool, Finn? Where did you go? It's my new, uh, my new gimmick. Pen isn't working. Uh huh. Or pen, yeah. That'll help. I think in um, Pen Island. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Do you have pens? Do you have paper at the ready? I don't know if uh, I, I. I've got a semi working pen. You got a semi? I've got a semi. Nice. Book, 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 book. Okay. Okay. So. The first few questions of this week's Eliminator is going to be a test of your short-term memory. Sorry, Finn. Oh, um, <laughs> I'll give now, sorry. I'm joking. I'm <laughs> joking. So these first four, maybe five questions are going to be about WrestleMania 37. Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, What's that? Which was <laughs> a week ago. <laughs> it feels like it was a year ago. Pretty much. Yeah. Are you ready for question number one? Yep. Is the soundbite ready. ready for question it is number one? Indeed. Question question number one then. What is the name of the stadium that WrestleMania thirty seven was held in? Open ended question. Fucking pen. <laughs> Pens and non-working pens down, please. <laughs> I will go to Sonny first. Okay. Um, you can't see it, really, but it was the, the Raymond James Stadium. Finn Steele. It was the Silver have? Dome, brother. I had no idea. Told me the joke. <laughs> so you put the Silver Dome? <laughs> yeah, you didn't I, know. Yeah. Brother. The answer was the Raymond James Stadium. Finn, Damn. you have lost a life, an early life Point. lost for Finn. Point for Tony. So we're going back to the five Definitely. lives uh, scenario, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, last, yeah. Last, last week's Eliminator was slightly different as it was a WrestleMania special. Yeah. Although this is a bit of a WrestleMania special as well. Mm. So Finn, a life lost. What? what? How did you not know that? They mentioned it 70,000 times on the broadcast. Yeah, I don't listen to Michael Cole. <laughs> anyway. Yes, the Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida. Question number two. How many, this is an open-ended question, how many title changes were there over the two nights? Slightly longer to I think. Just the WrestleMania. The two nights of WrestleMania, yeah. How many title changes were there? Five seconds, guys. Been given a new pen by uh, my glamorous assistant. Have you written down an answer? No. Yes. Quickly, 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 quickly. Three, two, one. Pens down. Sonny, what have you gone for? Um, three. Finn Steele, what have you gone for? I'm pretty sure I changed it last second because I remembered another one. I'm pretty sure it's five. The correct answer was or is five. Yeah. Well done. Finn. Yeah. United States Intercontinental World Tag Team Women's World Women's Smackdown. Correct. Yeah. 
Yeah. Both yeah. women's US IC raw tag. E. Well remembered. Thank you. Okay with that? <laughs> good. Good stuff. Yeah, good. All good. Yeah, all good. good. Well remembered. Well remembered. Question number three. So Sonny, you have lost a life. Both are on four lives remaining. Question number three. Which match opened night two of WrestleMania 37? Again, open-ended answer question. Night two. No multiple choice. Which match opened night two of WrestleMania 37? For a hint, it was crap. <laughs> ah. Pens down. Wait. Pens down. Oh, I don't know it. Pens down. Sonny, what is your answer? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have an answer. I'm going to have to guess. Um, was it the... It wasn't the women's tag team titles, was it? Finn, what have you gone for? Oh, it's on the tip of my brain. I know, I'd say, I, I won't be dead rubbish. So yeah, I remember it. The really first match was really, really rubbish. And I can't You've got nothing written it. down. I'm going to have to take that as you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So annoying. So no answer from, 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 from Finn there. Mm. The answer was The Fiend versus Randy Orton. Oh, of course, oh, of course it bloody it was. was. Fucking hell. Bloody <laughs> hell, it's <laughs> soft idiots. cell. Yeah, it was that bad, we just erased it from our brains. That's the thing. Isn't it? That's why I thought maybe I need to give you a little bit of a hint of it was crap because it was terrible, um, wasn't it? It was really. It bad. wasn't great. Yeah, it wasn't great um, at all. You know, a six-month build for a six-minute match. Where was it even that? Was it even six minutes? I think it was about six minutes. Yeah. So I've been uh, looking at the times of the matches. Uh, They're all really short. Nothing went over twenty minutes. I don't think. Yeah, really short. Mm, okay. That leads me quite nicely on to question four. But before question four, you have both lost another life. You have both have three lives remaining. Mm. So, question number four. Lovely segue there. Mm. Which match went the longest over the two nights of WrestleMania? Is that open-ended? It is open-ended. I do more open-ended ones because Finn just guesses, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so which no, match which went match the longest? Which match went the longest, according to the good people at wikipedia.com? Speaking of, I won seven pounds on the Euro lottery. Very nice. Well done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> okay. Pens down. Are we good? Really? No, not yet. Five. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> Sonny, what have you gone for? Uh, Drew versus Lashley. I think um, it clocked in maybe at around 18 minutes-ish. Okay. What's a guess? Finn, what have you gone for? I went for Roman, Edge, and Danny Ryan. Okay. The correct answer, and I need to double check because I am now doubting myself. <laughs> Give me one second. Building the tension here. The correct answer was Roman Reigns versus wow. Edge versus Daniel Bryan. It came in at 21 minutes 40. Wow. The second longest was Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre, 18 yeah. minutes 20. Wow. So, really short. So, Sonny, another life lost, unfortunately, mate. Mm -hmm. Finn, well done on that one. Thank you, thank you. So, two lives remaining for you, Sonny, but Finn, you have three lives remaining. So, all to play for still. Yep. The final question of last week's WrestleMania. And question number five. How many singles matches were there over the two nights? Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Pens down, please. Sonny, what have you gone for? Uh, total guess, but I've gone for 
eight. Finn, I went what have you got for? Six. Okay. The correct answer. Seven. Is seven. Oh, it is. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so you have both, unfortunately, lost a lot. So oh, you had so Lashley good. versus Drew, Rhea Ripley versus Oscar, Sheamus versus Riddle, Banks versus Belair, Seth versus Cesaro, and Owens versus Sammy, and Orton versus Fiend was classed as a singles match. There I mean, was no stipulation for that one. Yeah, Owens versus Sammy was one of the beginning. Damn it. Good match as well. Yeah, really good. Yeah, too short. Mm. <laughs> again, again, too short. I mean, how long, how long did that one go? Just for... Uh, just for uh, Kevin Owens defeated Sami Zayn... In nine minutes twenty. Yes, Jesus, that's so short. That'd be it, felt, it, it felt quick. It felt quicker than that as well. I mean, yeah. Apollo versus Big E, six minutes fifty. I mean, that. I guess the idea there was probably, you know, that he has a bit, you know, he's proven that he can just beat the shit out of him. But again, yeah, hmm. okay. So you were both wrong there, both losing a life. Suddenly, you have one life remaining. Ooh. Yeah. But Finn, you have to only have two lives remaining, so Ooh. all to play for. So, question number six. Which current WWE star had This Fire Burns as their entrance music before it was given permanently to CM Punk? Was it Edge, The Miz, Randy Orton, or Jeff Hardy? I know this because this is going to be a question for when I was Quizmaster. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, you sorry, do, you the, do you want the choices again, Sonny? Yeah, please. So, I'll read the question again. Which current WWE star had This Fire Burns as their entrance music just the once before it was permanently given to CM Punk before he then changed, obviously, to cult of personality. The four choices are Edge, The Miz, Randy Orton or Jeff Hardy. Okay. Uh, total guess, I have no idea. I didn't even realise that that was even a thing. Yes. Great song, by the way. Sonny, yeah. what have you gone for? Uh, I guessed Jeff Hardy, but I don't know. Finn. Obviously knows it. <laughs> We're the winner. It is Randy Orton and it did not see him at all. <laughs> the correct answer is, and this week's winner, the correct answer is Randy Orton. Finn is this week's winner. Unfortunately, Sonny, you are. When was that? Winner, winner. Wasn't it on an episode? It was on an episode of SmackDown a long, long time ago. He came out to it Something once. Like that. I think wow. you, can, you can find it on YouTube. It's or on whatever, YouTube. Yeah, it's kind of surreal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he comes YouTube, out to it um, once Randy and then. Out to it. Yeah, then he was given to yeah, CM does, Punk. That wouldn't suit him at all. No, no, not at all. No. How strange. Very strange. Very strange. Wow, well, I didn't even know that was the case. I thought it was just always with CM Punk, but um, yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, interesting. Congratulations, Finn. Tell you, you're running away with it. I'm they? crap at the Eliminator. Undefeated. Yes, he's taking a 4 0 lead. <laughs> Obviously, the first week, you know, controversial. <laughs> but you'd still be losing 3 1. So. Yep. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, over, it's over already. I'm ready we to can, like, we can have concede a, defeat. Yeah, we'll get, get the two losers. We'll, we'll, we'll have a quiz off. It will last for yeah. weeks because we're both crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the winner of that will so face the champion. So you had that question, did you, Finn, for, for when you're. Quiz yeah. Master. I yeah. thought that a little while ago because uh, I remember seeing it. Kind of remembered it randomly. Uh, I think it's because I was listening to the song on like Spotify or something. I, was like, mm. oh, I remember this. I remember it being like Randy Orton's theme at some point. Oh, wow! Yeah, I, I, th th no I think he, idea. I think he only knew it was just the once, wasn't it? And I think yeah, they just like realised they were like, no, nah, this isn't for him. Yeah, that was it's such a weird like, song to give him as well. Yeah, it's like that, like an episode of Heat or something random like that. Yeah, it's pr it's a proper heavy song, isn't it? Oh, it's yeah. really. It really starts with a fucking scream, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good song, good, good song. song. Yeah, really good really song. Good. Suited really CM Punk perfectly. Mm. Um, I yeah, I really like that one. I, I wouldn't have been against him just having that one instead of Court of Personality, but you know if it fits. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so Finn, you've taken a four 0 lead Woo. in this best best of five series. 
Yeah, <laughs> so you could could actually all be over next week. All be over next week, and I've and I've and I've got like I've got sheets of questions here. Oh, yeah, it was left at SmackDown. You're right, SmackDown 2006. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Jesus. That is unreal. I'll post the video in the in the, the chat while I'm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be good. I'll, I'll watch it. I think I've seen it the once. But... Oops. Ladies. Nope. Whoa. Ladies. Whoa. Ladies. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> right. right. The week in wrestling, the highs and the lows. Um, we're not going to talk about WrestleMania because you've all seen it. And you know you've heard probably countless other people talking about it, so we're not we don't want to sort of bore you with you know potential repetition. Um, what I will do though is just put this question out there to you guys, uh, Finn. Which was better, night one or night two? Night two. Okay. And Steve, which was better, night one or night two? I think overall, night one. Mm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, I, I I think night one was better as well. Okay. Night night two picked up uh, from from Kevin Owens onwards. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn onwards. It picked up. That was a good match. Seamus Riddle was great. Apollo Crews great, but not long enough. Great to see Rhea Ripley win. Uh, and the main event was was I thought was fantastic. Really, yeah, the main really event was good. really good. Yeah, really good. Um, but I, I do think night one just shaded it. Obviously. The only down point for me on night one was the um, was the tag turmoil match. That was just a bit of oh, a, yeah. a cluster. That was a clusterfuck, wasn't it? It was a mess. Yeah, it was a real mess. Um, wrestlers unfortunately slipping on the way to the ring. Wardrobe malfunctions. Uh, the wrong the wrong team being announced as winners at one point as well. That was so. Yeah. <laughs> it was all over. There was just no chemistry between any of those teams no. at all. So it was a real shame. But um, yeah, night one. Some some good moments from night one, you know. I thought some, there was some, some really great moment. moments over the over the weekend. To be honest, I thought it yeah, was. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It was just it was just a it was a it was a good show. It was a good two night show. I thought. Yeah. Um. You know, one that you know looked like it wasn't going to happen at one point. So. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was. That was a bit ropey, wasn't it? And thankfully, it was because the, the initial forecast was uh, that night two the weather was going to be worse. Yeah. But thankfully, uh, you know, Vince threatened. God, like you bastard! <laughs> I'll beat you once. I'll beat you again. <laughs> I'll beat you at Backlash 2006. Oh. Not WrestleMania Backlash though. Not WrestleMania Backlash. <laughs> WrestleMania though. Backlash. Yeah. Oh, what is that? About? Jesus. Anyway. Wet. So yeah, good WrestleMania. Happy days. Good stuff. Yeah. Good yeah. to have fans there. Good to have fans. Great to have fans there. Yes, very good. Yeah. Right. So, uh, Steve, I hand over to you for the the week in wrestling highs and lows. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm taking many if any notes this week uh, so i might need you guys to chip in on little bits and pieces <laughs> raw forgetful so don't watch it uh, uh, raw after mania it, it always supposed to be a bit of a highlight in the in the calendar and it absolutely wasn't uh, we had the viking raiders come back or whatever they're called the viking raiders wrestling experience <laughs> it is yep. the viking raiders isn't it yeah they came back great hopefully we see them you know pushed in the tag division but obviously you know, WWE don't care about tag teams. Um, mm. We had the return of Finn's favourite, Charlotte Flair. Yay. There she is <laughs> in all her splendour. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Same thing. Uh, <laughs> a slight improvement. Yeah, she came back and um, she <laughs> she interrupted uh, she she interrupted a match between Rhea Ripley and Oscar. Am, am uh, I right in saying? Yeah, I've got a yeah. screenshot of that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Our audio uh, listeners, um, yeah, that'd be a good should check out the video part from from here on. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Some very very. One good more things. time. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you ever seen that picture of uh is it chloe grace moretz is that her name yes she's wearing like some high-waisted um like hot pants and she's got a really short body because she's only she's only diddy herself isn't she yeah, yeah. someone's done a side-by-side of that and the first picture <laughs> it's it, it's quite cruel but it's funny at the same time that's fair um 
Yeah, and I, I, we didn't really get an explanation. Going back to Raw, we didn't get uh, an explanation of really what was going on with the Fiend, uh, what that what that whole thing was about. I think Alexa and the Fiend have split up, basically. Yeah. Is that, yeah, is that what it looks like? It certainly seems like that. Um, I yeah. don't really understand it. And I'm starting to sort of... To be honest, after the WrestleMania match, I sort of lost all faith with it. Um, mm. You know, all of that build for that payoff. Um, the only good thing to come of it was The Fiend coming back in regular attire. But no way should he have lost like that. No way. No, I, I thought it was... I, I, got, I, I had no... I know we're going back to WrestleMania here, but I had no problem with him losing... If the match, if there'd have actually been a wrestling match, yeah, there, there was no, there, there was basically no match. It was what six minutes. I've already, you know, I've already the, said. the whole thing was set up for Alexa to bleed black stuff. Yeah, and I thought as a visual that looked really cool. It looked, mm. it looked, looked quite good, you know. And and the fiend obviously coming back, and you know that was cool. And the yeah, and the and the uh, the jack in the box or the box like structure <laughs> that yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold, yeah. Hold it. yeah. Thank you, Michael. Box, a box, box, a box like Jesus. So you mean a box then, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah um, the um, the yeah, just said the image of Alexa sitting on the box was cool, and the crowd were into it. But then the lights went out, came back, and yeah, boo, yeah, big <laughs> booze, no, booze. I didn't expect something yeah. to happen. Nothing happened. It was just that was it. That was over. Yeah, just an RKO, game over, and that was it. Yeah. The only person that got booed oh, wow. more was probably uh, Logan Paul. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've not really had a much. There was nothing I, I didn't see much on Raw that kind of explained what went on there. And Orton had a no. was in a Orton was in a match, wasn't he? With um with Drew and yeah yeah to move very on. strange. Um, yeah. a very forgetful Raw. Uh, I've I've heard Raw described this week as gash, <laughs> which I think That's is fair. a great term. Accurate, accurate. Uh, yeah, we had a yeah. we had a weird match with the Miz and Morrison versus Damian Priest, where Miz ended up in his pants. There's a picture there. Uh, yeah. Now, what I don't get about that, that, that picture that you've just showed there, The Miz is wearing slightly more there than when he wrestles. <laughs> That's a good point, actually, yeah. So why is it such a big issue when it's his when it's his Brax, but when he's there in shiny leather bloody pants, you know, mm. oiled up to the nines, it's fine. Well, it's like in cartoon. It's like in cartoons, isn't it? When like Bugs Bunny is totally naked, but like, there's some weird bits in the cartoons where his skin comes off and he's just wearing pants. But he yeah. like then he like holds his rabbit cock yeah. and uh, <laughs> and he's like, like Bug, embarrassed. Bug, Bug, Bugs, he's like not cock's... wearing any pants anyway. Your cock's been out for the last half hour, mate. What are you playing at? Yeah, yeah. yeah you've not been wearing <laughs> pants for the last a hundred years or however long yeah. the Bugs Bunny's been a thing, but yet when his skin comes off and he's got heart pants on, because that's what they always are, they're oh, always white pants, pants oh, yeah. with yeah, hearts yeah. on them. Um, he's, he you gets all embarrassed. you would wouldn't you, for Bugs Bunny? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you think they'd have little, little carrots, little carrots just on, on his boxes. Yeah. Well, he's, he's there holding his little carrot, and he's... Well, that's, uh... true. that's true. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Raw... Maybe it's because he's not wearing knee pads. That's 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 gonna be. Yeah, weird. that's. Ah, he's, that's fair, look, yeah. he's got he's got no knee pads on. <laughs> looks pretty happy in that picture, though. Look. Well, yeah, yeah no. Maurice looks happy. Yeah. Obviously she looks pretty too. disappointed, actually. Let's have another look. Is that a gun in your pocket? Yeah. <laughs> is, that a, is that a little carrot in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, they've made. Uh, got rid of. Uh, Bad Bunny, well, I've got rid of Bad Bunny, but no Bad Bunny, Damien Priest loses. Happy days. Great. <laughs> yeah. well, done. well done, guys. Cool. Right. So um, that was Raw. Moving no, so, on to... Uh, so the, main event, the main event of Raw, obviously, was uh, to determine who was going to wrestle Lashley at ba uh, WrestleMania Backlash. Oh, yes, of course it was, yes. Yeah, Backlash. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Drew McIntyre did win because obviously he did. Hmm. So we get um, Drew McIntyre versus uh, B Lash at WrestleMania Backlash for <laughs> whatever reason. It's called WrestleMania Backlash. Yeah, because Backlash wasn't obvious enough. Like it was Backlash. Because it's, 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 it's live WrestleMania on backlash. P. Cock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is live on Cock P, and uh, yeah, you got to change its name for some reason. Yeah, and then uh, after reasons. after Drew McIntyre won, um, you had yes, um, of course. Uh, mm. T-Bart and Nutsack. Yeah, they <laughs> came down uh, to beat up um, McIntyre, and apparently they're going to be in the Hurt Business. 
or mm, whatever. Uh, hopefully they take the mask off and then we part of the yeah. business now. Then I would MVP. be absolutely fine with it. It's fine, yeah. 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 Change your names. Because it, it, it does look like in the picture that um, um, Dijakovic has, like, he's growing his hair back, whereas before he was, like, yeah. totally bald. Yeah, he's yeah. not wearing his uh, contact lenses either. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sort of thinking next week on Raw, maybe they sort of unmask and, oh, my God, it's Dominic Dijakovic and... <laughs> And that Theo. guy who's on commentary, yeah, that, Theo, Theo Madden, that guy yeah. that stood up to Brock Lesnar once, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the guy who's taller than Brock Lesnar gets put through a table. That's it, out forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> out forever. Yeah, but the, yeah, so that was raw. That was raw is war or raw is cash. <laughs> um, yeah, raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to raw <laughs> is cash. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> NXT. So, um, I thought NXT was okay. Um, I thought it was good, yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was. I thought it was okay. Um, the bits that I can remember, look, all the wrestling has just kind of merged into one this week for me. Yeah. Uh, in in many ways, but um, Roddy Strong has uh, handed his notice in. It seems, and he has yeah. left NXT. Uh, WWE have even kayfabe put him onto the alumni section of their website oh, really? as well, wow. which I thought was a Dedication. Cool, little, cool little touch. Um, yeah. Obviously looking at the alumni section this week for uh, reasons <laughs> we'll come on to in a bit. Mm. Um, so yeah, that happened. Uh, there was a cool moment where uh, Raquel Gonzalez was you know, introduced by Dakota Kai with the uh, as the new NXT Women's Champion, she was joined by Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair. I thought that was a really cool moment, uh, and it just showed that you know these NXT guys they go up to the main roster, and some of them can be successful if used right. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, I thought it was cool to see the debut as well of uh, Frankie Monet. Yes, yes, that was just before that, wasn't it? And the little doggy oh, um, with a with a dog, <laughs> yeah, with a doge. So yeah, that was uh, that was cool. Great, great mic work. Um, Very cool. She basically says, "Look, she's I'm a not star, gonna... man. She's a star." Yeah, yeah. She'll she'll be. I think she's going to be her next. You know, Raquel Gonzalez is next challenger, isn't she? So yeah, it'll be probably. interesting to see what happens to Io Shirai now. Um, mm. People like that. Whether we, I mean, we were expecting call ups as you do on uh, Raw and all of that, but we didn't get them. Uh, we just had a couple of returns, didn't we? Hmm. So, no call-ups, unfortunately. No. Which we were expecting. Weird. Yeah. yeah. We were expecting. Um, yeah. NXT. What else happened on NXT? God, my mind has just gone blank. Kushida won like... the Cruiserweight yes, Championship. Yes, of course he did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Escobar. Fantastic. Yes. Good. Yeah, uh, uh, excellent. And I really, really hope that he holds on to it for a while. Um, Jordan Devlin was there backstage. Obviously, he lost at uh, Takeover Stand and Deliver, and I think he basically said, "Look, I'm 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 going home now, but I'll be I'll be waiting, sort of thing." Yeah, I'll okay. be back. I'll be back. I'm um, so to be honest, I think Kushida having the cruiserweight title gives it just that little bit more prestige. Yeah, I mean, I thought Escobar did a great job with it anyway, but. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Kushida having it. Um, mm. It's great that he's got his first championship in WWE. Um, yeah, hopefully this is a uh, you know the the start of a long, um, you know, and successful run with the title for Kushida. You got yes. some potential for some incredible matches, um, and hopefully, yeah, we'll we'll start to get them. But it's great for Kushida. I'm really happy. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, he's a star. He's awesome. He's really good. He's yeah. again. His match with uh, his match with Pete Dunne, fantastic at uh, at Stand and Deliver. Yeah, really, really good, really, really good. So, and um, uh, also, um, MSK defended the NXT Tag Team Titles. Did against Killian Dane and Drake, Drake Maverick. Maverick. Yeah, Maverick. Yes, and uh, they retained as they should have. Yeah, good match. They did, and they were getting booed as well. But I don't know whether that was because they had to. They had to be the heel team on the night, you know. Because yeah, Dane I think it's just Maverick because people are obviously the face team. Yeah, yeah, I think good. people like them. Um, I like them too. I like the fact that um, Dane is using uh, essentially uses Maverick as a weapon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so the match is a yeah. lot of weapon. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I like that too. But yeah, M- M- MSK, uh, uh, Wesley. Oh my god, amazing. 
Yeah, he is. so good. I, I, I hate to say it, and I hate to I hate to kind of be the person that's you know like typical WWE and break, <laughs> breaking up a tag team, but I could see Wesley being a being a single star. I really could could see that. Mm. Uh, I think somewhere he's, down he's, the line, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I think he's super. I think he's he's really good. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, really good, really good. And I think that when we had. Uh, uh, the way we're involved in a match as well with uh, Dexter Loomis. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ross Reed. Off. Yeah. Um, and Indy Hartwell was carried Indy off Hartwell, by Dexter Loomis. Yeah. Yeah. Indy Hartwell was carried off by Dexter Loomis, which was uh, was quite funny. She turned back to the camera, gave a little wink and a, and a thumbs up. So that, <laughs> was, uh, that was quite funny. But yeah, I thought I thought NXT was was good. But, you know, we, the week before, the, the, sta- the two stand and deliver shows were were absolute bangers. <laughs> They, the thing they, with wrestling, the thing with wrestling this week is there's been so much of it that it's, been it was it's so difficult to um, enjoy properly after a full week of wrestling. It's then you know when then Raw was quite disappointing and yeah. you know NXT was a good show, but it you know because there's been so much, it's hard to really sort of you know force yourself into it after all the wrestling that's been on the previous few days. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this this goes back a little bit to something that I've I've said in the past, which I know will never ever happen, no matter ever. how low ever happen, no matter how low ratings are. I would have your night after WrestleMania Raw, even if it is good or bad or indifferent, and then I wouldn't have anything for about a month then. Mm-hmm. Have a, a have a month, yeah, <clears throat> just four weeks, just four weeks of no TV, and then and then just and then just go from there. We, you know, it's something that we talked about on the pod ages and ages ago. Um, you know, where we said that, especially when there was a lot of injuries as well because of like all the house shows and stuff. It's like wrestlers almost needed that pre-season. Yeah, like yeah, mm, like yeah. other other sports stars have you know you, you you know football teams rugby teams you know basketball nfl all of them they all have an off season you mm-hmm. know they all have a few weeks off you know a break and it almost felt like and it feels like to me that after wrestlemania that's what wwe should do in a way because mm-hmm. it might start to build hype uh, you know people might be listening to this thinking what nonsense are you talking no i agree maybe it's just me from a personal point of view in the I always have a little bit of a lull after WrestleMania mm-hmm. in that, oh God, that was, you know, that was heavy going WrestleMania week, especially this time. Yeah. So maybe it's just me. Uh, hopefully the weekly TV picks up. I mean, it, it wasn't good before WrestleMania. So why would it be good after, I guess? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there we are. But oh, yes. that I said. Do you want to say the best part, best part of WrestleMania week was uh, Poppy singing... Best moment. Yes. I'd probably pop harder for that than in any other match in the whole week. (laughs) (laughs) She loves the podcast, does Poppy? She does. She's great. (laughs) I um, I loved it. Going back to WrestleMania, I feared for Rhea Ripley when she had a a live entrance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes didn't go right. Isn't there some, some, like, really, isn't there a weird stat out there that. like the win loss record for live entrances is really heavily in favour of you lose the match if you have oh, really? a live entrance. Oh god. Yeah. Oh yeah, you've had your moment now piss off and lose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go go and lose. Go and lose. So yeah, I feared for Rear at that point. When I saw that I was like, Ooh no. Because yeah. that was all that was the one that I think most people really wanted Rear Ripley to win. So thanks. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I was to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised that both women's titles did change hands. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 It's good though. Good. Mm. Oh, gotcha. One hundred percent. That Be- Bel Air Banks match was uh, was sensational. It was really yeah. so really good. good. So I mean, yeah. so good. Yeah, I know we we criticised Sasha Banks on there, but she just showed what how just incredible she is, and you know, put mm. Bel Air over. Fantastic. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so that was NXT. Moving on to Dynamite, which this was quite refreshing actually. It was away from WWE, um, mm. so yeah, it was uh, a good. Good show. So we had the opening match was Pac and Phoenix versus the Young Bucks, the Bucks of Youth, uh, which was just a superb match. Yeah. Absolutely really fantastic. And 
you, you know what? The, I, I know the, the, the thing is that the, the Young Bucks are the best tag team in the world. Well, if they're the best, then Pac, Pac and Phoenix are probably the second best because they, they're just awesome as a tag team. I mean, what you've got there is four very special, very talented, very talented wrestlers. Yeah. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. The wealth of talent that AEW has at its disposal, mm. it's, it's mind-blowing. I mean, you can say the same for WWE, but they just don't use it properly. You know, yeah, as we'll come on to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, this, uh, the, I mean, these two teams, just, just sensational. Amazing. Chef's kiss type stuff. Yeah, it was, it was, it was epic. And uh, it was kind of just, Exactly what I needed to see from a from an opening match, you know, really uh, for a. And this is what I like about Dynamite, and I know I said it the other week. You know, I love the fact that Dynamite starts and they're into a match. You know, yeah. There's no twenty thirty minute. You know, I think SmackDown again this week was thirty five minutes before there was any wrestling. Yeah. You know, Raw probably entrance. wasn't much better. You know, and <laughs> yeah. it's just I want to see it. Just do do a match. Just do a bloody match. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know, they, that's where they lose audience. I think, you know, people tune in to see wrestling matches, not not promos for half an hour. No, you're right. Um, I totally I, agree. I, I know yeah. they build for storylines and stuff, but there we go. Um, what else did we have? We had Dax Harwood. Is that the right one? I always get their names mixed up. So it was Dax Harwood versus Chris Jericho, wasn't it? Yeah. Great match again. Mike Tyson was the uh, special enforcer. Or- Something like that. So there, there's Big Mike, Iron Mike, mm. in his uh, nice salmon pink shorts. Lovely stuff. It's an interesting nice. choice, that. To be fair, yeah, white t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, look at his look at his shoes as well. They're like white loafers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. But to be fair, are you going to tell Mike Tyson that he looks like shit? No, you probably no. not. No. That guy can still <laughs> that guy can still throw a punch. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, that guy can still throw a punch. That was a really, really good match. I really enjoyed that. Um, obviously, um, Jericho's been in there, been on, the, been in the news. Well, wrestling news, hasn't he? Obviously, because of his appearance on the Broken School Sessions. Which, yeah, if you, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. it is it's really excellent. good. Excellent. Really, really, really good. good. Yeah. Um, Two absolute marks just talking for two hours and 20 minutes. Yeah. It's super. It's yeah. great Austin stuff. loves it. He's such a mark. Oh, it's ridiculous. He is. He, he's, his love for the business is... Oh, God. His knowledge of the business as well. It's just yeah, absolutely incredible. Yeah. He's so... He's, he's one of the, He's just such a great wrestling mind, is Austin. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and I think for me, I mean, I, I've... I'd be lying if I said I always liked Jericho. You know, I, I said to you, didn't I, Sonny, that... When he became the undisputed champion, I pretty much stopped watching wrestling. I thought, why have they given it to this guy? Yeah. Um, I pretty much stopped after that. I watched it for probably about another year or so. Uh, and then I stopped for a very long time. Um, but when you hear about his thought process, about his gimmicks and you know why he moved on and why he left WWE a couple of times and stuff, again, you get a bit more of an appreciation for the guy. Absolutely, yeah. And, and you start to understand that, you know, whilst... He is a superb wrestler, and he likes to just have fun with it as well. Mm. You know, like with, like, and, and like this week in his promo on um, on Dynamite, where he called the pinnacle the pineapple. Yeah. yeah, you know, I think a couple of weeks ago, if he'd have said that, I'd have gone. Ugh. But after hearing, you know, him talk on on the on the Broken School sessions and yeah, just how he how he likes to come across, you, you just know that that's him just dicking around and messing around and mm. and trying to be funny and uh yeah so i really enjoyed that watch it if you haven't seen it but yeah 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 good match really good match um mike tyson's now in the inner circle and mike tyson's now yeah. in the inner circle yeah yeah interesting yeah there we just go. like he was just like when he was in dx <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> like that yeah cold stone remember that yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Um, Darby Allen uh, defended the TNT title against Matt Hardy. Again, yep. great match. Stuff, Darby, yep. Darby oh, Allen is just off his tits. Yeah. Like, uh, the the end to that match, well, I think it was the end, wasn't it, where he just did the yeah. coffin drop off the... Off the, it wasn't off the table, it was off the, the structure, off the ladder. Yeah, it was yeah. off the structure, wasn't it? 
Yeah. Matt Hardy was on the table, coffin dropped through that. I mean, that's every time he does that move, I'd, I, I kind of wince and have to look yeah. away because you just think you, you're turning your back on whatever it is you, you're trying to do. There's, there's a I lot know. of trust involved there. A lot. Oh, a hell of a lot. A hell of, trust. of a lot of trust. Yeah. 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 A lot of, a lot of, a lot of trust indeed. But yeah, good, um, Good, good episode of Diamond. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, Chris Statlander came back as well. Her first match back, also, yep. so that was good to see. Um, Christian Cage. It looks like he is facing uh, Powerhouse Hobbs, maybe next week. Yeah, next week. Yeah, uh, we've got a few matches uh, already lined up for next week, isn't there? Co- couple of tasty looking matches next week. Uh, yeah. Darby Allen defending the TNT Championship against Jungle Boy, which I think will be really, really good. Nice. And um, Ty Conti Conte, is challenging yes. Hikaru Shida for the uh, women's championship, which um, is great. Ty Conti's come on leaps and bounds, really, really good. Yeah. Um, and another thing I'm looking forward to is going to be the inner circle versus the pinnacle at Blood and Guts, which is going to be great. And that's in a Blood few weeks' guts. time. Yes. Um, before yeah. we move on to SmackDown, I just want to touch on um, MLW real quick. Um, again, if you've not watched MLW, definitely do watch it. It's free. It's on YouTube. And uh, this week featured uh, – it's only like an hour-long show as well, sometimes not even that long. Um, this week, there was three title matches on it. Uh, you had Lost Parks defending the MLW Tag Team Championships against the Dirty Blondes. Um, that was really good. Um, Lost Parks retaining. Um, you had – Richard Holiday defending the Caribbean Championship against Gino Medina. Again, very good. Uh, Richard Holiday, who is awesome, by the way. So, so incredibly talented. Um, he retained. And the main event was Hammerstone defending the National Open Weight Championship against Mil Muertes. Um, Hammerstone victorious, but uh, Mil Muertes of Azteca Underground. So, so, so impressive. But mm, that is cool. a show that if you can fit in, it's like I said, it's not even an hour long a lot of the time. It's so refreshing and it's full of incredibly talented wrestlers. Um, mm. And it's just so good. When when there's fans and stuff there, the production is really, really good. Obviously, at the minute, there's no fans. So it looks very indie, but it's uh, the, the show itself is very well produced and it's uh, well worth watching. And like I said, it's free on YouTube every single week. Um, so definitely check that out. Also, nice. another cool bit of news um, is Mauro Ronaldo is going to be calling the Rebellion main event for Impact, which is Rich Swan versus Kenny Omega. Um, title for title. So, uh, Rich Swan, of course, Impact Wrestling Champion, and Kenny Omega is the AEW Champion. Very cool. So it's awesome. cool to see Moro back. Yeah, hundred percent. Great guy. Great guy. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, MLW. I, I I hear a lot of good things, and you know, I, if it's if it's less than an hour and it's on YouTube, you know, there's no reason why I should uh, probably stop watching videos about Animal Crossing and maybe watch MLW instead. <laughs> yeah, it's a refre- honestly, it's refreshing. It's It really is a, it's a good watch, good wrestling. Good, good stuff. Okay, so on to SmackDown. So I suppose the first thing you sort of noticed on SmackDown this week was Pat McAfee debuted as a SmackDown commentator. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, yeah so interesting to see him back, uh, which... My immediate thought when I saw this was Adam Cole's coming to SmackDown. That was my immediate thought. Good point, uh, yeah. Whether they pull the trigger on that at all or ever or anytime soon remains to be seen. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I, I think they will. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. I you you look N- at Adam Cole, you think SmackDown, I think. Yeah, I like about NXT when you know, the aftermath of Stan and Liver that like uh, the people wheeling, wheeling uh, Adam Cole and uh, Carlo Body to the like ambulance. They're both still shouting yeah. at each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're going to be get crap out of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was funny. funny. Um, just yeah. on McAfee, uh, I think it's a refreshing change and much needed change to the mm. uh, the SmackDown announced team. Obviously, Corey Graves has gone to Raw. There's been a change around on the Raw announced team. Mm. Um, you got the new guy who I actually thought did a good job. I was just going to take yeah. him a little while to bed in. But, you know, Corey Graves and Byron Saxton alongside him. That'll be fine. But then Cole and McAfee, from what I've been told, um, and from what I've read, sorry, should I say, is that McAfee's been given basically free reign 
told to be himself, not to hold him back or anything like that. To cool. and he's still being allowed to do his podcast and all of his outside ventures because that's a big deal, I think. For um, he's gained a lot of respect from WWE fans, me especially, because um, yeah. I didn't like him before. But no, um, during his stint in NXT, it. yeah, I couldn't fucking hated him. But now, <laughs> um, big fan, really like him. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really cool. Um, Roman Reigns obviously came out at the start of SmackDown and said there is no one in that locker room that can defeat me. There's nobody left. And then Cesaro's music hit, and I was like, yes, yes, yeah, Cesaro versus Roman Reigns. Get in there. And Hell he, yeah, this is what you want. They squared up to each other as the picture showed there. I took, you know, Cesaro, you know, looking down on Roman Reigns, which I thought was quite a cool visual as well. Yeah. Um, and said he wanted a match that night uh, for the title. Uh, what we uh, what we got, though, was uh, in the main event, we got uh, Jimmy and or Jay versus, it was Jay, of course, versus Cesaro. Now, Cesaro, um, Cesaro won uh, via disqualification mm. because our man, the king of the drip, yeah. <laughs> Seth Rollins came out and interrupted him. So that, I think, is a good time to move on to what is Seth Rollins wearing? Flash up the picture, please, Mr. Garner. So, (laughs) as you can see there, another fantastic suit jacket and shirt from our man, Seth Rollins, there. The shirt had some weird sort of black pattern going on, but I want to really focus on that uh, jacket there. So it's a black jacket, but throughout it, it's got kind of like white smoke effect on there. Um, And again, it's just another fantastic look. I don't think this tops off his uh, look at WrestleMania, where he was wearing basically a gold suit. Um, But he tops off this this look with black trousers, the no sock look with the shoes, and of course, the black wanking love. So he <laughs> got involved there in the main event. Uh, so that carries on that feud a little bit as well between himself and Cesaro. I really hope Cesaro is in the main event picture in terms of the Universal title. I wouldn't be against both of them being in there, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I don't think um, Cesaro, I don't think they pull the trigger on this until SummerSlam. Probably I think not. it. Dr- I think it drags until then. I think Cesaro yeah. wins the championship, um, possibly in front of people at SummerSlam. Mm. Well, I think he'll win yeah, it. yeah. I think cool. I, th- I do think he'll win it. Yeah, I think I it's so. uh, it's about time for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I mean, obviously you know, he got the-, the win, didn't he, last week um, at, at Mania, which was cool. And you could tell. You could tell the, the look on his face. He was just. Almost like overcome with emotion. Yes, yeah, it yeah. doesn't seem like a guy that he's overly emotional. He's very, very cool, isn't he? And, and very yeah, calm very and collected. Yeah, very stoic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but but you could tell, you know, his first singles match at WrestleMania, and he won. You know, and and yeah, you could tell he was he was made up. And I think everyone in that everyone in that crowd was made up, and all the fans at home as well. So it really great. feels like the start of a push. It I feels like so. it's now finally. You know they're finally pulling the trigger on him, and yeah. it's um, it's it's going to happen. I think this time. I think what we see is, you know, back and forth between the three of them for a while. Yeah. Um, I think I don't think you get Cesaro versus Reigns at WrestleMania Backlash. No. I think you get Reigns versus. Sorry, I think you get um, uh, a re like rematch between you know Edge and. Reigns or some in some capacity, yeah. um, and I think you get Cesaro versus Seth. Um, then I think there's a triple threat at some point, and then I think in a one-on-one match at SummerSlam, um, they pull the trigger on Cesaro winning the championship. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I really hope so. Maybe maybe Brian versus Ed to see who faces Roman next. And then whoever wins that faces Roman, <coughs> whatever. Maybe he's after that, and then eventually yeah. Cesaro will hopefully win at SummerSlam, mm-hmm. which would be cool. Yeah, I, I think Cesaro is definitely going to win it this time. I think it's his time. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I know. I know that I have I have said quite a few times, and I, I stick by it that I don't think there would be anything wrong with Reigns holding the belt right through until probably like Royal Rumble next year. Yeah, but if he's going to drop the belt sooner than that, Cesaro's the man. Well, what I think might happen is if we get, we get the draft at some point, and Reigns will be drafted to Raw. Really, I think you maybe have a switch over and have McIntyre go to SmackDown. 
Because mm. that, that main event pitch is going to need freshening up because if they keep with McIntyre uh, going for the title against Lashley all oh, year, yeah, then that's going to be boring as shit. So I think you yeah. might see a swap of Roman and Drew. It's a good shout. Point. Yeah, it is yeah, a good, good shout. And, and Raw probably needs freshening up with some with some other names as well, some NXT. Guys. Needs freshening up by having an hour chopped off and... Yeah. Um, a change of writers and bookers and whatever else. So and, and everything else. Yeah, I saw a, I saw an int- I, I watched a video the other day uh, that was um, what it, it was. It was quite bleak in a way and a, and a bit uh, morbid in a way. But it was what should WWE do after Vince departs, whether that's retires or you know the other thing. Um, and the and the first thing that was said was Raw should be two hours of wrestling. And the third hour should just be classic matches, mm. reruns of classic matches, because the network will probably the, the 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 TV network, not the WWE network. The TV networks will still want to keep a three-hour show because of the money and how much they well, paid for it. Then what you do is you tack on Raw Talk onto the three hours. So you have you have two hours of matches, and then you have an hour of Raw Talk where mm. you have the aftermath, and then you have the build to everything else. So everything you still get your story else. stuff. Couldn't work. But you get yeah. two hours of wrestling in, you know, before mm. that, which I think would be great. Either way, two yeah. hours. Please be two hours. But anyway, yeah, we've gone off gone off topic a bit. So um, what else happened on SmackDown? Uh, Rey Mysterio beat Otis. Great. Uh, Kevin Owens beat Sami Zayn via countdown. So that's yep. carrying So that's on. not... That'll, that'll be another match at Backlash. Yeah, that'll be Good. another uh, uh, WrestleMania Backlash. Um, Sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, there's a celebration for Bianca Belair, which was then followed up by a tag team uh, match. The Dirty Dogs or the Top Dogs, Dogs. or Rudolph or these two, uh, whatever they're called, uh, beat the Street Profits again. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, the it was the blind tag that, that did it, and so it's not like it was kind of completely clean win, but... Yeah, and then there was a women's match that I skipped. Um, yeah. So yeah, that was uh, that was SmackDown. That was SmackDown. Yeah. So okay. So let's let's quickly touch on the releases. There have been releases this week from WWE. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, April the fifteenth is a day where everybody should just turn their phones off if you work for WWE. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, run through exactly the list. A year, and, uh, exactly a year to the day since last year where we saw. Uh, wrestlers, producers, writers, referees, all released, and it was blamed on the pandemic. And then WWE announced record profits about three weeks later. Classic. Yeah. We had uh, some releases on Wednesday. Well, there was uh, most of them on Wednesday, and then there was one the following day. So I'll run through the list: Samoa Joe, Mickey James, Peyton Royce, Billy Kay, Chelsea Green, Kalisto, Bo Dallas, Tucker, Wesley Blake, and Mojo Rawley was the last one announced to be released. That was announced yesterday or or, or Thursday. Uh, yeah, yesterday. No NXT releases, which I was slightly surprised about because I was expecting... There was, a... there was rumours. There was rumours of NXT releases and that was going to be the following night. So that was going to be last night, basically. Yeah. Um, thankfully, that's not happened. Um, there's still time expecting... for it to happen. Well, there is. Mm. I was fully expecting Velveteen Dream to get the chop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, me. there's a lot of names when when these when these releases started happening. Obviously, I mean, I guess we all do it. We were we were sort of messaging each other and saying, "Surely this person? What about this mm. person? Or I really fear for this person." Um, one name that I guess we all expected to see on there was Alistair Black, but the talk amongst on the dirt sheets and all of that sort of thing is actually. He's on his way back and he's been recording some vignettes uh, for a newish sort of gimmick slash character. So mm. uh, that's happy days. I'm glad that he's yeah, back. Yeah, me too. He's yeah, for sure. Chop. But going back to those list of releases, um, obviously people get people get emotional and get angry about this and, you know, say Vince is this and Vince is that and WWE are horrible and all of that. The, for me, there's two sides to it. There's the side of it where WWE hoard talent and then they don't know what to do with it. And then they you end up with people like Bo Dallas, who has not wrestled since 2019, mm-hmm. who is a talented guy. You know, his NXT run, he was superb. Yeah. You know, he comes from a wrestling family. He's obviously very, 
you know, he's, he's got ideas and, you know, I've read a lot of things about him that says that actually he's a good wrestling mind as well. They just do nothing with him. So yeah. why hoard all this talent to then just mm-hmm. do nothing with people? You've then got the other side of the coin for me where you've got some of these guys where you think to yourself, well, are you really going to miss them? And it's probably a good thing that they went because they can refresh their careers a little bit. Uh, I'm I'm in agreement with you on that because there's a, there's there's names on that list. There's only there's only three, three names, names on that list three, that, that really bother me. So Samoa Joe, you know, he's not been cleared. It doesn't look like WWE want to clear him. He obviously wants to wrestle and has, has apparently expressed a desire to wrestle. Mm. Of course, you're a wrestler. You want to do that. That's yeah, of course, natural. So Samoa Joe has now been released to the surprise of everybody. He was the big big shot. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was just doing commentary yeah. on WrestleMania, like <laughs> the day before. Exactly. Yeah, Mickey Man. James was was doing comms on uh, on, on the NXT, NXT, NXT pre-show. Yeah, yeah. yeah as well, for me, Samojo Man. being released is a blessing in disguise uh, for Joe because Joe will now don't no, look. Joe isn't a spring chicken anymore. No, right? no. So he's he can got now one more go, run as an E somewhere. He's probably got a, a you know a good couple of years somewhere, and WWE you know they've not pulled the trigger now. It looks like they were never going to. So no. he'll go, um, he'll go to, uh, he could go to AEW, who were partnered with Impact and used to wrestle for Impact. He could go anywhere he wants and have one last final run and be somebody's world champion. So for Joe, this is a good thing. He's going to go get to wrestle. We're still going to get to see him on TV because. There's wrestling everywhere now, so we'll yeah. be able to see it. That's another thing that people like go on about. People oh, forget. Yeah, yeah. There is wrestling everywhere now. You can watch wrestling everywhere. Samoa yeah. Joe could turn up in MLW and he could go fucking watch it for free on YouTube. Yeah. Wrestling Impact is free on the Impact app. Yeah, you can watch Impact for nothing. Um, you know, NWA AW. coming back. NWA coming back as well. Power. Yeah. Man. So you know, you could even watch Ring of Honor if you really wanted to. Yeah. You know, there's there's so much wrestling now that these people have got places to go. Yeah, the big yeah. money's in WWE. Of course it is. But you know, there there are there are alternatives now. You can you can yeah. go wrestle for AEW. You can go to to Impact or Ring of Honor or NWA or MLW. There's so many places. But let's be fair. Samoa Joe, yeah, okay. He will go somewhere else and do something great. The Iconics will no doubt go wrestle together somewhere. Um, presumably, they will go to AEW. Sean Spears is in AEW. And that's Peyton Royce's partner. Mm-hmm. They'll use their real names, and that's fine. Um, but everyone else, Tucker. Who gives a fuck? I think the only thing for me with with Tucker is heavy machinery. That whole you you look at this time last year when you had the um, the storyline with Otis, Mandy, Tucker, and Dolph. That was great, and that and that and that um, that payoff at WrestleMania it was a real shame that that wasn't in front of a crowd because that had been that would have been a real WrestleMania moment. And I think the thing the weirdest thing with me, yeah, I completely get it. You know, who cares about Tucker? You know, we've got, you know, the nickname for him and all of that. Um, <laughs> but Heavy Machinery were good and they could have done something with it. And okay, all right, yeah. they split them up. But then that was it. They split them up and then they put them on two separate brands. There, was, there wasn't even a payoff to, well, why have you split them up? Well, well, it's because of this, it's because of that. There was nothing. And actually, he's been the one, um, I can't remember what his real name is, but... Uh, he, he's been the one on, on social media that's been like, you know, in, in 88 days, or as it, as it is now, 88 days time because they've got a 90-day no-compete or talk uh, clause. He's the one that's like, I can't wait to tell my story because he's gone from being in an over-tag team to then running around backstage after the 24-7. So, okay, not the greatest wrestler in the world, not someone that we are long-term going to miss, but I think it's going to be quite interesting to hear his story. Mm. Um, I think with Samoa Joe, it feels to me a bit like a business decision in that what you've touched on there about he probably wants to wrestle WWE, don't want, won't clear him to wrestle. At the end of the day, look, if this was your business and you had Samoa Joe or you had anyone sitting there on a wrestler's wage, and all they were doing is commentating, and they won't negotiate a new deal to be a commentator and take a pay cut. What do you do? You cut them. 
Mm. And that yeah. and that's the reality. And that's the that reality. Is the, and, that is the harsh reality. It is. Uh, and, and, and it is a business decision. And people can sit there and say, you know, oh, Vince is a dick. He's a clown. He doesn't know what he's doing. He does know what he's doing. And if this was your business, you would not pay someone double the amount of money or whatever it is to sit there and commentate, no matter how good he is at, on, at, on comms. I thought he was really good. Yeah. When he's on a wrestler's wage. So and they it's, don't it's a want, business decision. You know, there's and a lot of concussions. For one reason, they won't clear him. Yeah. Yeah. Look, you know, wrestlers have retired for less. You know, he's exactly. had a, sh a lot of concussions, a lot of injuries, um, yeah. and WWE don't want to take that risk. You know, they they ha there have been sort of you know court cases and stuff regarding WWE and former wrestlers and concussions, and WWE just don't want to take that risk anymore. And I get it. Yeah, I absolutely, totally, absolutely. totally get it. I do. Um, yeah. It's all right. Just a shame Daniel Bryan, Edge, or, you know, these people. Yeah, and he'll go and wrestle yeah. somewhere else because an AEW will pay him or someone will pay him to, to wrestle and have one last really good run. There's life in Samoa Joe, yet yeah, it just isn't in WWE for business reasons, and that, that is the long and short of it. Um, Mickey Best James, I understand why they've let her go. Yeah, it sucks. He just didn't, as again, he just didn't use her. He brought her back for like a few matches and then just sat in the back doing nothing, which is a real shame because uh, he's got so much offer still. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I expect us to go to NWA. Yeah. yeah I'm surprised because Nick Aldis is there, her husband's there. Yeah. Um, I expect that's where she'll go. Yeah. Yeah. Which but again, questions. again, you look at someone like Mickey James, and on, although, you know, legend, you know, talented, you know, all of that sort of thing. What did we see on NXT this week? We saw Gonzalez, Belair, Ripley stood in the ring with the three belts, the three women's uh, singles belts that are available within WWE. And it was very much a, this is the future. And unfortunately, she is the past. Um, yeah. So, you know. And as again, harsh as that sounds, you're when, right. Again, when the, not that WWE are short of money, but from a business point of view, they probably paid her a lot to bring her back, to tempt her out of, you know, retirement or semi-retirement, whatever it is. She's got a lot of other things going on as well. She isn't she like she released an music. album or something yeah. yeah she does music and stuff so look these guys like you said there are wrestling companies out there that will take them on you know chelsea green for example within an hour of her being released she had a t-shirt up on pro wrestling tees yeah, her own yeah. the hot mess yeah, she, she, she'll have work i mean you know she, she could easily go back to impact yeah yeah and the the strange one with chelsea green though is she signed a new deal six weeks ago and then they've released her. Yeah. So that goes back to the argument of, well, that's just a case of WWE hoarding talent and then realizing they have nothing for them. Yeah. And if yeah, that's the case, just say that. Just say that. Yeah. Don't cite budget cuts. Just say it. Yeah. Um, with it's the Iconics, no. Just with the Iconics, that's obviously one that's uh, going to be debatable because they shouldn't have split them up in the first place. And when they did, they fucked that's it the and realized yeah. they didn't have anything for either. Billy Kay's been doing great work and I feel sorry for her, but the she two wrestled, of them will find work. She wrestled at WrestleMania. She did? Yeah. Hey, look, <laughs> and more power to her, but obviously they didn't have anything for her going forward. They couldn't yeah. find a place for her. And to be honest, I saw this one come in. Although it's, <sighs> although it's still a shock, I saw this one come in. I saw Billy. K I saw Billy Kay come in more than I did Peyton Royce. But I, you know, we when, when they announced one, I really didn't think they were going to announce the other. I was, I was shocked. Uh, that one shocked me. That and Samoa Joe. Really I think Lacey me. Evans falling pregnant didn't help Peyton Royce. <laughs> yeah, because they were in a thing together, weren't they? Yes. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Then by then Lacey's already split off, doing I think with Charlotte and Ric Flair. So who knows? Mm. But Peyton Royce was still amongst it. Yeah, I guess. But I don't know. Either way, they're going to find somewhere to go, and you'll probably find that they turn up in AEW once the 90-day no-compete is is done with. Yeah. Who, who else yeah. we got on that list real quick? Uh, so you've got Kalisto, Bo Dallas, uh, Wesley Blake, Mojo Rawley, are the ones we've not really... So. Yeah, I've seen a lot of praise for Wesley Blake. Um, I wouldn't. I could see him maybe in Impact or somewhere like that. Kalisto, uh, I could see going to... Um, well, you, the, all of these guys will find work. Yeah, yeah the guys yeah. and girls that have been released will find work. Tucker is the one I worry about because I don't, I didn't think much to him anyway. I didn't, yeah. I mean, Otis was always the standout character in Heavy Machinery, although they bounced off each other. Otis was the star of the show there. Thomas, and yeah. 
you know, that Tucker's the one I worry for. Mojo Rawley, I don't think will go back into wrestling, personally. Um, I don't think Bo Dallas will either. I know Bo Dallas has had sort of ideas about outside ventures. Yeah, apparently it's it's something that he's been, so he's, he is, um, he's, he runs a farm with Liv Morgan, his, his partner. Um, and apparently they've been buying properties as well, you know, buying properties, renting them out. Smart. Very smart. smart. Investment. So yeah, Yeah. so it remains to be seen whether he, um, whether he comes back when it, whether he stays in the business or whether he goes off and does different things. Apparently, again, like I said earlier, a, um, a very interesting bloke with some interesting views. I, I could see him being like quite doing quite a big and popular podcast as well because of some of the things that he's really into. You know, he's into some wacky stuff. You know, so no Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're quite. I mean, they're quite kooky, him and Bray, aren't they? So, yeah. Um, I, you know, I wish all of them the, the most success in the world. But what people need to remember here is that, you know, all the, all of the wrestling is incredibly accessible now. Mm. Yeah. You know, AEW is viewable on this country, in this country on free TV. And, you know, their other shows, they're available on YouTube. Impact, you can watch for free on the Impact app. Um, NWA is on YouTube. Um, MLW is on YouTube. Everything is easily accessible so yep it might be crap that your favorite wrestlers um you know have been released or whatever but you know this might help people branch out to watch other stuff that their favorites are going to be on so yep they've gone from wwe that you know they weren't on tv anyway and now they're going to be on tv somewhere else and used hopefully in the way that people want them to be used so guys there is and uh, a channel for this wrestling absolutely and there is also a very big, very big wrestling scene in a in a certain country as well called Japan. So <laughs> again, someone like exactly, Samoa Joe, you could absolutely Jacob. expect to see someone like Samoa Joe in in New yeah. Japan. Yeah, oh, of course, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, there, there's a lot of, um, you know, even Wesley Blake. You know, there's a lot of talk of him. He could go to New Japan. You know, mm, yeah. uh, people talk very highly of him, and he, so he could go there. So, you know, there's this so just keep an eye out, you know, 90 days will be gone yeah. and you'll start seeing people announced to go and do different stuff. And that's it, it's going to happen every year, unfortunately. So it's something that I think so. Yeah, we're going to have to you know, get it happens every year anyway. There's always cuts. But, you know, because of last year, I think it's publicized more. Mm. But, you know, it is yeah. what it is. And it, it is always going to be a thing now in WWE, unfortunately. But, mm. yeah, that's that, that, that they're. The, these guys, they are going to find work still. Yeah, I mean, I mean, okay, you know, I know I've I've talked about it being it's business and that's life, and I imagine this is very much the wrestling business. You know, one night you're on it, one night you're in front of the camera, the next the next day you're getting a phone call to say you're being released. Yeah, you know, that that is very much like um, that's a very American thing to do. They do that a yeah. lot in some of their other sports, NFL and ML, you know, baseball. Yeah, especially. there's always cuts. That always, you know, you literally, I mean, you know, we, we've seen the film Moneyball, literally call that guy into the office, right, you've been traded to wherever, pack your bags, here's a number, see you later. And, that, and that's yeah. how it is. And or even a case of you're not good enough for the, even if Even a case of you're not good enough for the team, you cut. Yeah, it happens. And then it people happens. become free agents. It, it happens, yeah, it does. Yeah, it but happens. Um, it's not the end of the world. People will no. still find work and... Yeah. That is yeah. the long and the short of it. I, I think that the, the general consensus is that the, the release of Billy Kay, Peyton Royce and Samoa Joe is actually, it's knocked a few people for six backstage. That They just yeah. did not see it come in and yeah. apparently morale is already quite low. Um, so, you know, and now some of their, you know, two, three very popular people are now gone. And that's that's yeah. not good. But um, hey-ho, no. good luck to them. Mm. Absolutely. Guys, we hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of the podcast. Of course, we'll be back next week with a brand new episode. Yes. Um, but for now, this has been episode 139 of the Games and Graps podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single weekend across podcast services everywhere. 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 And youtube.com forward slash Games Graps and Facebook when Finn remembers to upload it. Did you hear? I tried to upload it last week. It basically just didn't. It's just like... No, I'm good. All right, screw you then. Curious to Facebook. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, but we'll be back next week. Uh, my name is Sonny G, and I've been with Finn Steele. Goodbye. And Steve. See you later.
and we'll see you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye bye. Heaps of shit. Heaps of shit.